Hello again. Uh, let's just keep uh, plugging along. Um, you can see now from this uh, picture here that I've put um, a couple of servos back on. I didn't hook up all four of them. I just hooked up two. Um, this one and this one on this Esra arm. And they're plugged into pins one and pin two. I still have pin zero hooked up to the RC speed controller. Keep in mind again, the power has been disconnected because the RC speed controller is gonna be getting its own power from what you can barely see over here, its own power supply, nine volt, the 9.6 volt uh, power pack. I have put this pack back on of uh, three uh, AA rechargeables, which is gonna be running the servos here. Ultimately, I'm gonna tie this all together. I'll probably get a, a, a decent sized uh, six volt lead acid or something like that to run the entire package. And of course, the motor driver. Um, I'm also excited to say that today I did get my new um, RC stuff and by the time I do the next video it'll be in place because the batteries are charging but um, this is my new uh, six channel uh, receiver at 2.4 gigahertz and uh, it's really small and oh my gosh they're remarkably affordable I can't wait we're gonna get this one going here probably before the end of the night um, so let's look at the code. Not a lot of changes. Um, still have the servo H. Got to have it because uh, I'm going to be using servo motors and this RC speed, uh, our radio controlled speed controller. Uh, I've created three servo objects. Uh, one I've labeled DC motor because it's going to be running that uh, speed controller. And uh, two of them uh, labeled servos one and servos two. I have in the setup, I'm going to be collecting data from three of the six channels. So I have channels 0, 1, and 2 from the RC receiver uh, going to pins 12, 11, and 10 of the uh, TNC uh, 3.1. I have attached my uh, DC uh, speed controller here. And then I have attached these two servos to pin one and two. So, oh, and then of course I've launched serial should I want to be able to uh, see the actual streaming data as it comes in for diagnostics and troubleshooting. Um, <clears throat> going down to the loop, it's really simple. Again, remember, I have these three variables. Where are they at? Up here, I created integers, uh, CH0, CH1, and CH2. And uh, channel 0, CH0, is equal to the pulse in of pin 12. Pin 12 is, once again, hooked up to channel 0, the very first channel of the receiver, and uh, channel 1 and channel 2. I'm looking for a high signal. I'm going to time out at 21,000 microseconds or 21 milliseconds. I'm, if it hasn't received the leading edge of a pulse by that time, it's going to give up and skip down to the next one. And then I'm going to jump to the drive servos subroutine. And in this particular case, the DC motor, uh, which is this one right here, the RC speed controller, is going to take that value that it received from here. And it's going to write microseconds to that servo object. And that's going to tell it what to do. Remember, 15 milliseconds is going to be, I'm sorry, 1.5 milliseconds is going to be uh, stop. Two milliseconds is gonna be full speed in one direction. One millisecond, uh, full speed in the other direction. And then I have the two actual servos, which are hooked to the arms. And it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, in this case, a 1.5 millisecond pulse is going to be straight up. And uh, one and two millisecond pulses and anywhere in between are gonna be left or right some degree. Um, and that should do it. So let's turn it on.
Let's see now. I'm going to turn on the transmitter so we don't get any kind of gibberish as it goes off. I'm going to turn on my servos and I'm going to turn on my speed controller. And let's see if I can get it so you can see it. So that works just great. Move this around, I can move the arm. Oh. Everything works nice and fluidly. So we're really close now to uh, hooking it up. In fact, I think the last step I'm going to do is, um, like I originally said in the first video, I want this thing to be able to switch to autonomous. So now I'm going to work on putting a sensor on here. And when I hit channels uh, 5 or 6, I'll have it light up the LED on board. And that'll tell us it's running on autonomous behavior. And then I'll have the speed uh, be dependent on my position from the sensor. So hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you again soon.